Merry Christmas everyone. Thank you for coming and stopping by my channel. Here's the craft room tour that I promised you. I'll start off showing an overview of the entire room and then we'll get right into the crafting section in greater detail. So this is one side of my room that I have all nice decorated for Christmas. I love this room it used to be a basement. It was all cement and I put these windows in and did all this work and we put a bathroom in and this beautiful closet that I designed and my friend Greg constructed for me. So I will show you that really quick. Look at my cute Christmas decorations. I love it. I got that at Michael's last year, 80% off after Christmas and then a couple little Christmas decorations that were my sister's. And then up here is my window. So the windows are like chest level because if you looked out, you would see the ground. And I put this nice little ledge in here for my cat's bed. And these are some pretty dolls that my mother crocheted. I had to close the curtains. It's so beautiful and bright out today. I actually turned the lights off in my craft room and it's still this bright. Okay, let me come over here. Hopefully I don't jiggle the camera too much. All right, I'll just open this really quick and show you. So in here are all my J-Lo clothes. Well, not all of them. That's some of them. And then that is a pretty jewelry rack I got off eBay. If you're interested in that, I can link it just leave me a comment below so that's one part of my closet close that up and then this part in the middle goes all the way across and then it has more jlo clothes so that's pretty cool gives me lots of extra space and then the third and final closet I got, before we do that, I got this beautiful train um, picture from Hobby Lobby this year. Isn't it pretty? And then I picked this one up at Michael's at the end of the season last year for like clearance. I love it. Okay, and then the third closet is just some regular clothes non JLo and on the inside of that door are all my JLo earrings okay and then return I'm gonna back up a little bit so you can see more <clears throat> now this is an old cabinet I'm trying to decide if I should leave it the way it is or if I should paint it white to match the rest of the room I don't know how I feel about that though if you have any experience in painting wood leave me a comment let me know and I decorate it up on top isn't that pretty got that pillow and that beautiful dear Christmas picture from Hobby Lobby and then over here is a spare chair I had in my house an ottoman and my best friend crocheted that blanket for me to go over it so it would match my room. And I got that pretty blanket and the Christmas pillow from Hobby Lobby this year. Look how pretty, <clears throat> excuse me, look how pretty that afghan is. And then if you go around, there's my bathroom. There was no bathroom down here either. I put that in. Look at this Santa. I got that at Kohl's. So funny and that's just laundry room furnace utility sink hot water tank all that stuff that nobody cares about and then I got this cute thing the most wonderful time of the year I got that at Hobby Lobby this year and then here is scratching post for the kitties and then I did put a door to my craft room and it's got like 
plexiglass in it so you don't feel like you're trapped in here and you're still part of the rest of the house. And then over here, I got this desk from Wayfair and that chair too. And it was supposed to be for like my printer and my laptop and my Cameo, but with the virus, uh, working from home. So that's taken over my desk. And then back there is just a little storage for my ink pads. And then I have this pretty shelf. This was my husband's shelf that he had years ago. It was brown. And then my girlfriend painted it for me white to match my room. So I'll show you some cute little, look at these. My friend gifted those to me. Little New York Yankee Christmas ornaments. Go Yankees. And then here's where I keep my little traveler's notebooks. And some Christmas decorations. I love the computer. And then I got these really cool shadow boxes. So much glare. It's so beautiful out today. Let me see if I can... I got these shadow boxes at Wayfair. So I decorate my room with those, with some of the layouts that I've done. I'm trying to go slow, <clears throat> so I don't make anybody dizzy. Look at my Santa. Isn't he cute? And then these were like $20, $22 at um, Wayfair. They don't sell them anymore, I checked. But I found an alternative at Michael's for like half that price. So I was going to show you these, but... It's so beautiful out today. There's so much sun. That's okay, though. I'm not going to complain about sun in December, right? So there's some of my favorite layouts. And you can change them out of the shadow boxes. And I didn't notice this until I got them all hung up. All my shadow boxes have Paige Evans collections in them. So I wonder if that's telling me something. She might be my favorite or something. <laughs> And then over here, I just have some hydrangea in a vase. I got that at Michael's and Joanne's. And I have my printer there for now. And then under here is like my Gemini. Some extra storage. And then look at these cute snowmen. I got those at Kohl's this year. Really cute, right? And then this beautiful bird box. It's like, got snow. It's really, really, really pretty. I got that at Hobby Lobby just this year. And then this way is this pretty f little cabinet fireplace that I got at Wayfair. You can have it just be the pretend flames or it's actually a heated fireplace. So that's nice. And then sorry about the bright light but I wanted to show you my window and all my decorations for Christmas and that little house matches the birdhouse and that's um down my mom crocheted and I do have Christmas lights around my window but it's so bright I'm gonna bring it down so we're not blinded here and then you go over and I have some more shadow boxes of some of my layouts and I'll get into greater detail of the actual crafting station after the overview so this is my scrap box isn't that awesome I love it so much and then you just go back around to where we started from so I'll get into really great detail here I'll start over here. I think it might be better if I turn this light off. Hold on one second. You can look at my drawers while I turn this light off. Ooh, much better. Okay, thank you. So, we'll start on this side. I'll get this out of the way. That's where I record my videos for my YouTube channel, right here on this table. So, we'll do this side. There's beautiful door that I have on my work box. This is a work box 3.0 from the original scrap box, com original scrap box company. 
and it's now called Create Room. I'll link it below if you're interested in looking at it. This door right here did not come like this. I had my friend Greg take that off and redo it. So you can see he put in little pegs for all of my yarn. I call that my Missy Wooden section. Everybody knows what that means. And then down here are my Lindy's. And then on this one is all my Altenu ink sprays. And then on this one are all my Prima sprays. And then here's my acrylic paint and my glue. And then down here on the bottom are just these little containers of all my pink fresh gems. And also I have a thing of sequins. Okay, now the cool thing, sorry that was kind of fast, didn't make to, mean to make you dizzy. The cool thing about this is it actually can fold up and close into a cabinet if you wanted it to, but I don't want it to because I'm at it like every single day, and even if I wasn't, I'd still want to look at all my stuff. So it folds like an accordion. I'll put a link in the description box below where you can see one actually open and close it's really cool so behind this door hold on i'm going to move this door one moment please see how it just moves very cool behind this door i found this really cool bookshelf i'm going to back up so you can see it uh i got that at wayfair too and then i have my albums my small six by eights on the top and then the rest are all my 12 by 12s and my preference is the Creative Memories cover sets for all of my albums because those are my favorite. So there's that. But the neat thing on the back of this is, I'm sorry you can't see it because of the bright sunlight, but the back of this is a magnetic board. So the whole back of this is all my metal dies and they just stick right to it. Isn't that the coolest thing ever? I love that. I'll show you a better view, hopefully on the other side without the bright sunlight, because my window's right here. I closed my curtains, but they're sheer, so that wouldn't do us any good whatsoever. Anyways, there, I got that door closed now. And I'm going to slowly come back over here. And then I got my nice little chair. I put this fuzzy blanket on there. Just so I could have a covering on that that you could throw in the washing machine if you had to. And I did put one of those plastic things on the rug so I could slide around easily. Okay, let me get this out of the way. I'm trying to go slow. Okay. Come back over here. Do one section at a time. Well, you can kind of see my Christmas lights on my curtains there. So... I have my cutting boards here, bright lights, and then over here, I have a couple of frames of my kitten, and this beautiful snowman that I just got. I love him so much. He's so adorable. Let me move these. Usually I have more desk space, but because my desk is now actually a work desk instead of a craft desk. I have more stuff over here. So this comes with three different size totes. And I'll explain every tote to you that I have. If you want to see, this one here just has my plates for my Sizzix and stencils and just random stamps. And some extra little papers in there. And then what I did is on my cameo, I took this Paige Evans cut file. And I just made little butterflies for each of the drawers just to make it look cute. And then I used Paige Evans flower just to make a little embellish it, embellishment for the, those little totes too. So down here in this one... Uh, is all my alt to new dies and stamp sets. So what I do, I'll just pull one out so you can see it. 
is if my stamp sets come with matching dies, I keep them with that because I don't want them to get separated from each other. So these little plastic storage containers are from Alta New. I love them. They zip on the top so you can keep each set with together, protected, and with the matching die set. And then this over here is all my random alphas and thickers. And then here is all Pink Fresh Studio because I love Pink Fresh Studio. It's my favorite. Here's just a little mixed media tray with a bunch of gesso and Vicky Boot and stuff. And then this one has all my Bramble Fox. I love Bramble Fox. My favorite little stuff from my friend Morag. All right. Now, this over here, hold on. These are all my embossing folders. And when I sit in my chair, I can reach probably 75% of the stuff that's in my drawers without having to get up. So that's cool. These are just. Random embellishments that don't go with anything or don't go with a certain collection. And the same for here. Random embellishments. This is my toe of trims and pom-poms for my layouts. And then up here is all my creative memories embellishments. And then in here... Sorry, it's just some tool and random embellishments. And then I got these cute, you know, those little totes that you can get from the craft store. I got them at Joanne's, Michael's, Tuesday morning. I think it holds like extra glue and some, maybe some stamps inside of them. Then I'll show you this comes with, let me back up without falling down. This comes with a crown. You don't you don't have to get it. It's separate. And it has a light in it. So I decorated it a little bit for Christmas. Usually it's just a white hydrangea. But I put some Christmas decorations. And there's my J-Lo dolls that my husband got me. Yes, I do have J-Lo dolls. Isn't that cute though? I love it. It does have a light in it that's usually right there on the top. I turned it off right now because it's so bright out today. And then here's all my drawers. So in the middle here are those magazine holders that you can get from Michaels or Joann's or any place. And then I didn't, I just got them on clearance. I didn't like the pattern on it, so I just redid it myself with Pink Fresh Studio. And those are my favorite drawers, Hip Kit Club. So I have each month in a separate drawer until I kill that kit so it's in order like this is September 19 this is December 19 this is like, August and June no wait, that's May June August and then this is November 2020 oh my god that kit is awesome this is an empty drawer that is waiting for the december hip kits to come to me i cannot wait this is just a layout i did today it's in this drawer drying because it's got nouveau and mixed media all over it so i don't want it to get smudged and then here's all my basil cardstock that i get from the hip kit club and i'll go through like one of my drawers and I'll show you how I organize too. So then in the middle is a more of this size tote. And in here, what I do is I put all my pocket cards. So here's my four by six pocket cards. And then here's my four by three pocket cards. They're all left over from the Hip Kit Club and there's some Pink Fresh Studio ones in there too. And then up here is um, extra embellishments that are left over from the kits 
And then here, in this one, I'll show you, I'll pull this down and show you what I do. I'm trying to move slow. I put my cards that I bought in here. Usually I make my own, but some cards you just have to buy, like Paige Evans and Dear Lizzie and Maggie Holmes are in there. So that's if I need a quick card. And then what I do, I'll show you. When all my kits are done, or my collections are done, any paper that I have left over, I will cut down into four by three cards that I can use on future layouts. And that way I don't have scrap paper laying all over the place because that bothers me because I'm like a neat freak. So that's just regular cardstock four by threes. I'll put that back. Okay, now there's my Tim Holtz Tonic Studio glass mat. Here, let me get this picture out of the way. Hold on. And then my water bottle, my tape. I have a mason jar for when I need water for my mixed media. There's my washi tape holder. There's two of them. There's actually one behind there, but I'm not going to bother getting it out. I have one for designer washi tape, like Maggie Holmes, Hey Jevons. And then the one behind it is just random washi tapes they pick up from craft stores. My, AG, my AGT gun. And then I put it in with the tape side like that so it doesn't get cat fur on it. <laughs> I have a couple Christmas decorations there. And there's my cameo. And those are all decals from Alt to New. If you're interested in those, you can go to altanew.com. They're beautiful, very high quality, easy to use decals. So I decorated my cameo. And then here's my drawers. Let me move this. Put that down so I don't make a bunch of noise. Um, I have to keep all my stuff in drawers for grandchildren and cats and stuff. And I don't want them to get cut or step on something sharp. So in here is like paintbrushes, tools, glue sticks, date stamps, mini staplers, my edge distressor, extra staples, just stuff like that. And like, could you imagine if they stepped on that or got hurt with that? No. We gotta put all that stuff away. And then my fine liner is in here. It's my favorite tool of all time. And then this one in the middle has all my scissors and my adhesives and my tweezers. Can't keep those out either. And then this one has extra tools like needles and stamp blocks. And I lined my drawers with Paige Evans paper. Okay, and then on this side, each of my drawers is labeled by collection. It like totally freaks me out not to have everything organized. So each drawer is its own thing. So that's my pink paisley drawer, and that has Auburn Lane and again and again inside of it. And it's all organized. Really, really neat. And then this is my Coco Vanilla Studio drawer. Awesome, right? I love that collection so much. And there's Jen Hatfield drawer which is jam-packed right now because my husband bought me the entire avenue collection for my birthday in october yay me and this one is jam-packed too it's my favorite collection ever dear lizzie she's magic it's got other dear lizzie mixed in with it too but it's jam-packed because we got it in a hip kit and then it was also at joanne's and then when I was shopping a few times, it was all on clearance. So I just grabbed like every single thing they had because I love it so much. So that drawer's packed. And then I have, of course, two Pink Fresh Studio drawers, which when I do the drawers, I always take like a little something from the thicker packages with the name on it and then use some embellishments and make my own little thing on the outside. Just so I know what drawer is which. So this drawer right here for Pink Fresh Studio is all Indigo Hills because that's the embellishment that's on the outside. And then this one here is all random. There's probably like three or four different Pink Fresh collections in that drawer right there. 
And then my next drawer is Cartabella Paper Company. That's got the flower market and the summer market in it because I love those so much. And then the top drawer has all the stuff that I have from Simple Stories. Okay, I forgot to go over here. So up here, it's just got boring embossing powders. And then in here, it's got all my magicals. And then the next two drawers are just different colored twines. And then this drawer here is all gems and glittery stuff from all random places. And then this one is too, but it's the long strips of gems. And then this one here has all those little teeny bottles. And every single one of them has a different set of sequins in them. So I don't know if you can see that. Okay, so there's those. All right, so slowly we're going to go over here so we don't make anybody dizzy. Okay, now up here is just a drawer full of embroidery floss for the hand stitching on my layouts. You can get so much in this cabinet. It's ridiculous, and it's so neat and organized. This is the best thing I ever bought in my life. I got some more. And then this one just has pencils and stuff. More pencils here. And this is also, I'm going to pull this one out, what I do with my scraps. Hold on. This is usually, to be honest with you, let me get this out of the sunlight. I usually would might toss these, but anything pink fresh, it actually makes me sick to my stomach to throw in the garbage because pink fresh is my favorite. So I have bigger scraps in here. And then all my other scraps, I make them into two by twos. Mm -hmm. so anything that doesn't make a two by two or a four by three or a four by six, and if it's not Pink Fresh Studio, it's got to go in the garbage because I can't have messes. Drives me crazy. And then here is just little eyelets and shaker fillers. And then in here is all my Alt to New ink. And then in here, I'm not going to pull out the way, is all my cartridges for my Creative Memories Border Punch. Those are really heavy, so I put them on the bottom. And then I have this pretty princess house vase that I have all my paper flowers in. So I can use them to make cards. And I just threw them all in there because it's pretty on my desk. So I'll move that. And then, oh, my ATG gun. And then here's roll of paper towels for mixed media. And I got two We Are Memory Keepers rose blooms. And I have my Sizzix over here. So I'll just open one of these. These things are awesome. If you don't have one, you should definitely get one. It's worth it. It keeps all your little teeny things in it. So I just have like bows and I have all my flare buttons in there that my girlfriend Karen from Yes Please Paper Crafts makes. She has her own shop. I'll link it below. It's the best buttons ever because they're awesome flare buttons. You can pick whatever you want and they're thin and not bulky. So they're perfect. And she even makes, <clears throat> excuse me, specialty flare buttons. So look at that. It's me and my husband and my niece right on a flare button. Isn't that fantastic? Some bows and all that good stuff. Pom-poms. All right, let me close this one so my cat doesn't eat something. See, it's so easy. You can do it with one hand. Definitely recommend these. We got a white one. <clears throat> More flares. Just random stuff in here. More flares from random places and my girlfriend's shop. Buttons. Just stuff like that. Random little teeny things that you need some place to store. Alright, let me move my paper towels. Alright, down here is just a drawer full of photos that I need to scrap. So I have them in one spot. And then this one right here is all my stickers for my planner. And then this is my Alt to New drawer. Everything I have from Alt to New 
um, besides the stamps, which you saw in the other drawer, this is scrapbooking supplies from Altenew and washi tape. They have beautiful scrapbooking collections on their website. And then, da -da -da, Paige Evans. Yep, we have one, two, three, four drawers of Paige Evans. Imagine that. So this one here is, I think, just all random stuff. Like, could be some whimsical, oh my heart, and paper pads that I picked up at Tuesday morning. But this drawer right here is exclusively for go the scenic route. Because, as I said before, it completely freaks me out to have things mixed up in different drawers. Like, if putting Paige and Maggie in the same drawer would completely put me over the edge. I'm joking, but not really. So there's Go the Scenic Route. And this is a good drawer for me to show you how I organize. Give me one minute to pull this out without making anybody dizzy. Hold on. I'm trying to go slow. Alright. Hold on. Is that too bright? Maybe a little bit. We'll move it over here. I can't believe how sunny it is today, but that's awesome. So let me move this so I can show you. Okay. So usually I will put the cardstock, if there's cardstock that comes with it, especially like in the hip kits, you always get there's a cardstock kit. Cardstock goes in the bottom, then pattern paper goes on top of that. So I'll show you. So you would have just all your pattern paper on the bottom. And then what you do is all your, what are these, 6 by 12 your thickers go on one side, all nice and neat. And then if you had any 6 by 12 eight or six by six paper pads those would then go on top and then you can make and then you know how you have like all the ephemera and if you fussy cut stuff i use the five by seven or the four by six little containers that are supposed to be for your photos each one of my drawers has one of these so it holds the ephemera that goes with that collection so if i want to use this i just pull out this whole drawer and work from there and that's what every single one of these drawers is like. Paper, and then the thickers, or the stickers, and then a uh, tote for the ephemera. And then there's Bloom Street, and then Horizon Collection. And then we have one, two, three, four Maggie Holmes drawers. This is the drawer for the newest collection for Marigold. I don't want to mix that up with anything else right now because I'm using it. And then these two drawers here of Maggie Holmes have everything. It could be Flourish, Gather, um, Confetti, Open Book, Carousel. They're all mixed up in there. You can see multiple papers, multiple stickers, multiple totes because I have so much. I just had to commit two drawers, but at least it's all Maggie in one drawer. And then this top one, the entire drawer is all Sunny Days. So there's that. And then up on top there is just some more of those little totes from the craft store. It has like glue. Hold on, I'm trying to move without tripping. It's like glue and stamps and some extra little embellishment pretty things. And there's actually a top there, like a um, flat surface that you can put that stuff on. But these end caps. They don't have anything behind them because you saw on the other side my bookcases behind them. So I just ran a piece of AGT across the things that are on top of those so they don't move when I move my um, cupboard or drawer or whatever you want to call this. So I just got that little love thing from Kohl's and there's cards up there, me and my niece, and then that card my girlfriend Karen made me. And then this whole... What should I call this? Door. Let's call it a door. That makes more sense. This entire door, I'll give you an overview, is mostly my Nouveau Tonic Studio. And it has a little place for scissors. And then this down here is a little kitty. 
it's a door stopper. I got an Aldi's. My girlfriend, my best friend bought that for me. And that is a painting. My sissy's girlfriend's, um, my girlfriend's daughter painted for me of my kitten that I lost. So it's pretty special. So then we'll go back up. So here's the Nouveau's. <clears throat> Excuse me. And here's some glimmer pastes. And there's the embellishment mousses. And then you can see, <clears throat> if you're standing over it, you can see the colors. Remember when these scissors were the thing? I still use them once in a while. It's pretty cool, though. Put nice edges on stuff. So, like I said, this is the original scrap box. It's a work box 3.0, but it's been redesigned and it's way better. It's got lots of really cool upgrades, but it still looks exactly like this. And then this is a place for my markers. There's my um, flakes. And then all my Tonic Studios sparkle markers. And then those are my Alt New markers. And then here's my new bow. I try to kind of put them in colors. Some empty spot because I'm using something right now. And look at this one in the middle. I ordered like three of those. I must have liked those. So those are all my drops. And then up here, we have uh, glitter. The Nouveau glitter. And then the little teeny shaker hearts and stuff. That you can put in shakers. And then up here is my embossing powder. And then over here is all kinds of different things like sequins and shaker stuff all from Nouveau. Okay. Alright, and then you wouldn't know it, but there's a whole section underneath too. So let me show you. Hold on a minute. I'm going to do this slow so I don't get anybody dizzy. Alright, so all underneath here is room for more drawers. And those more little totes. There's just stuff down in those little teeny skinny totes that I don't use very often. But on the bottom is random pattern paper that I had to have. So that's all in one drawer. And then there's three, one, two, no, four drawers of creative memory stuff. And then the top drawer is snow and cocoa. Alright, hold on, let me stand back up. And we'll move back over here. Hopefully I don't trip on anything. Okay, hold on. Look at this cute snowman I got at a craft fair. He stands up. He's so adorable. Isn't he adorable? I love him so much. And then usually this tote right here on the floor is not out. But I will show it to you. Because I'm doing my... December documented right now and it's just easier for me to take all the fabulous sorry about that bounce fabulous embellishments that came in the November hip kits and just leave them spread out for me to just pull and do my December documented so I have all the ephemera over there and my Bramble Fox gems twine and these are acetate sheets and numbers. And then the mixed media, oops, sorry about the noise. The mixed media kit that came with that. It's got Magicals and Nouveaux and Nouveau powder and Nouveau glimmer paste. So it's just easier for me to have all this in one spot. And then down here is my stencils. And then my scraps. I keep the bags that come with the hip kits. And once, once I cut a piece of paper, the scrap or the leftovers always goes in the drawer so you can know where it is and you can still use it and remember like if you have two of the same piece of paper you can remember that you've already cut into one and not cut into the second 12 by 12 so this is a package with the November 2020 paper and this is my leftovers this is the only thing I've left from the November 2019 kits so I have that all together for my December documented can I move over here? We just looked under there. 
And then in, under here is just some boxes that, of his random thread, some card stock for cards, and then those pretty totes from Michael's again that has all wooden stamps in it, and then my Gem, Gemini foil, and then that's my sewing machine. Okay. And then over here, oh, there's so much light. Let me see if I can block the sunlight. <clears throat> I bought this little white thing at Wayfair. It's not part of my work box, but it's really cool because I have so many tools that it was taking up too much room in my drawers that I need for my paper. So my top drawer has some trimmers and then my little embellishment tray. It has my thicker guide rulers and my T-square ruler to make sure things are straight on your paper. And then this drawer has punches. We are my crocodiles, my eyelets, some border punches, things like that. Okay, and then this drawer has some more We Are Memory Keepers, some extra tools, and some extra paper. This is some paper I used to make my Christmas cards this year. And then in this case of embroidery floss. Got that at Joann's. If there's something you see that you want to know where it came from or what it is, leave me a comment. Under here is my Xyron and extra fine liners and my fun foam, my paint tray. And these are all my extra envelopes from Alt to New that you can put your stamp sets in. It comes in a package of like, I think 10. So those are my extras for when I buy new stamp sets or I need to store something in there. This drawer just has paper. Has all my white cardstock and my colored cardstock to make my cards. Now also I used this envelope. This has all my foam squares in it. I don't like it when my foam squares are all over the place. So I just put it in an envelope. And then the very bottom one has some extra glue. Um, my fuse tool and all my creative memory punches and my creative memory border maker. Okay, so we'll close that. Let me stand back up. And we're going to slowly go over here without making anybody dizzy. And I'll show you what's going on down here. And then we'll be all wrapped up. Alright, so down here I have an empty drawer. Because my husband bought me so much stuff from scrapbook.com for Christmas. It's crazy. So I got my drawer ready for it. Aren't I crazy? <laughs> I got the, what is it? Floral bouquet. I think it's crepe paper um, that makes it. He bought me the entire collection. So I need room for that. And then this is my mind's eye drawer. That's my me and my big ideas and Bambi drawer. And then that's my Vicky Booten drawer. I have an extra album that I don't have room for. And then I always have an extra hip kit drawer in case I don't kill a kit in time for the next month's subscription. I always got to make sure I have room for that. Okay, hold on. Let me stand back up here. Okay, so there's my craft room, you guys. I really hope that you enjoyed it. If you have any questions about this, let me know. If you're interested in buying one of these, I can get you a coupon um, from the company. They're really good to their customers. Great customer service. So, let me see if I can show you one more drawer. I just wanted to show you, again, what I do. So, ephemera in a box. And then I keep all the things... And their packages on top, nice and neat. And then my alphas. And I keep it inside of it so it doesn't get stuck on anything. And then here's my pocket life cards that come with the kit. And then here I keep one of my plastic things from the kit for my scraps after I cut into the paper so it's not messy. And then the pattern and card stack goes underneath. So I have everything from that month in one drawer then I love the hip kit because you can just 
pull out that month's subscription and everything matches. It's perfect. Thank you so much <clears throat> for stopping by. And if you haven't been to my channel before, sorry, I clear my throat a lot because I have really bad allergies. So I apologize for that. But I wanted to show you the most important thing in my craft room. And I couldn't find him earlier because he was under a chair. That's my husband and my other cat. I have a lot of cats. Mimi, say hi to the YouTube peoples. Everybody's got to see how pretty he is. <gasps> hi, handsome. Hi, my boy. Can I have your belly? Let me see. Can I get it? Oh, don't get your sexy belly. This is my boy, handsome. This is my scrapping assistant. He's a very good boy. Beautiful, isn't he? So that's my Remy. All right, everybody. Thank you so much for stopping by to see my craft room. If you would, I'd like a thumbs up. And you can subscribe to my channel if you scrapbook or make cards if you're interested in becoming a subby. I am currently g doing a giveaway. I have a video on my channel. I'm giving away four different sets of prizes this month. So, well, not this month. It'll be given away in January. So, if you would like, you can view that video and let me know which prize you would like to be in the running for. I would really appreciate it. So, thank you so much. Merry Christmas.